adventures in Filbar. For all your role-playing needs, try the free stuff first. To hear that great right, right. okay so the lawyers don't need to contact oh, <laughs> cool. ladies and gentlemen thursday night welcome aboard murder hobo inc presents pillars of jocularity uh thanks for joining us we really appreciate you being here uh don't forget to follow us on the socials at m hobo inc you can email us if you want to be in a one shot probably this saturday m hobo inc at gmail.com you can buy our cool stuff i don't think it's on sale though uh i might want to check but i i think that sale is over so Wait till it goes on sale again. We got a lot of cool shit. Wait for the MLK weekend sale. That's right. Or, or President's Day sale. Or President's Day coming End up. of February sale. Hard to say. Uh, and if you need new math rocks, uh, run on over to Twitter at Pirate Dog Dice. Uh, hit them up. See if they can help you out. Uh, that's. Uh, that, that might be something cool, you know, to do. Uh, don't forget if your game stinks unlike ours, grab yourself some Adventure Sense by OddFishGames.com. They have over 60 different scents uh, to tickle your nose. Most of them are pretty good. Some of them uh, you give to people you hate. And I'm going to kill at least one cat tonight. Um, oh, no one heard that. And I don't care. Uh, I don't even have anything to throw at them. Uh, check out oddfishgames.com for the adventure sense. Also check them out for how to RPG with your cat. Two dead ones coming up. Uh, how to cook with your dice. How to cook with your dice. The, the Radiance Project. <laughs> And the Radiance Project. She's trying Not to take my mind off cats. killing him. It's not going to happen. Uh, Not a TPK your cats. Yeah. Uh, as, as John has, the Shine system. Uh, but check them out. They get a lot of good stuff at good prices. Uh, especially the Adventure Sense. If you're going to do an in-person game or a con game, I highly recommend it. Speaking of cons, uh, 210, uh, which is... Uh, slightly less than a month away or actually it's a month away right now uh, it's the Saturday before the Super Bowl Murder Hobo Con 4 it's a virtual con so it's worldwide gaming in the comfort of your own home I think we're up to 15, 16 uh, things uh, and that ain't bad for just a one day con uh, one price gets you in you sign up for as many things as you want and as you can Murder Hobo Con 4 can be found on tabletop.events uh, that is it for me Andrew uh, who are you and who are you playing hey going first this week hey everyone I am Andrew I play Mark the Bard in this campaign and Frank just gave me reason number 632 why I have no pets there's 33. <laughs> there you go. Uh, John, how about you? Hey, my name is John. I play Darius. I am a street urchin rogue slash dabbler of magic. And uh, speaking of Murder Hobocon, I'm going to be running uh, at least one or two events. And one of them is going to be a cyberpunk, easy to learn cyberpunk uh, themed rules light thing. You can jump in and learn real quick. So. Uh, it's like a homebrew system, so but it should be easy to figure it out. There'll be a you can lot use a D20. Though, right? so if you like D20s, it'll be similar to D&D. &D. Very nice. Uh, what are the names? Do you remember? The name of it? I totally forgot. It's something like Better Than Life, I think. Okay. Check it out, folks. Uh, page three, tabletop.events. Jeff, you're up next. Hey, I'm playing Cygnus the Monk. The moral compass, you know. 
Um, also, to help bring up ratings, I'm going to show my cock. I hope you don't mind. <laughs> it's larger than I expected. <laughs> that, that's going to be, this is my new uh, 2024, you know, uh, motto. It's very white. <laughs> it's Kevin Bell. Is that what it was? Yeah. It's, it's that's very awesome. pale with splotches of red. I'm not sure I'd be. Uh, you might want to talk to the doctor. Uh, yeah. <laughs> You can't drink all day unless you start in the morning. Gary, nice. wrap it up for us. Uh, I am playing Quinn, the, um, I don't know, the the cranky druid that likes to stick people in the feet. And spit it, at children. And spit at children. Which is still slightly better than your hippie character from Pirates. Hey! I love that character. That she is so was funny. Very caring. She is the Joe Pesci from Lethal Weapon Three. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, wow. Uh, okay, boys and girls, uh, pillars of jocularity. Uh, these guys have been through hell and back. They were selected for some reason uh, to be heroes to go ahead and solve a few problems. They've kind of solved the problems and they've identified the problem child, but. Uh, before they head over to Faramus and deal with this she-bitch, uh, they decided to go to Palaki and ask Queen Zara, their personal friend, uh, if she could, you know, lend a hand, get a few swords going here, uh, get a little help. Them, along with uh, pirate Tar Golmec, Tarmac, not or Asphalt, <laughs> Uh, they have arrived in Palaki only to find that uh, some red diamond pirates have taken over the land and apparently imprisoned her. These guys have gone on a savage kill quest and wiped out a rather significant amount of pirates. They had it coming. They overslept and were awoken by three boss types. Uh, and while the battle was severe, these guys have proven triumphant, and their trusty scribe Cornella is getting a little cranky, so she has decided to start whooping some ass. Uh, gentlemen, ladies, uh, as the smoke clears and these three dead dudes sit in the middle of the tavern where you concocted the poison soup, uh, everybody give me perception check. Should we offer some of the soup to Cornella? <laughs> nice. She helped make it. 14. Wait, perception? Eight. 23. Yep. Uh, Cygnus, you're the only one. Uh, there seems to be a kerfluffle outside. I'm going to give Cornella one of my daggers. She holds it clumsily, and let's see what her dexterity is. You know what? Uh, Darius, why don't you roll a d20? Let's find out how dexterous Cornella is. 18? She's got her... No wow. shit. No shit. Must be a uh, finger the, the way she was oh, whooping ass, it had to be high. <laughs> right. Cornella gets dex 18. Uh, she holds it. Uh, Better than I do. Whips it around. T tests its weight. Pops it up on her finger, flicks it over, point first. Does she get and, plus two for being an elf? <laughs> oh, you know, that, <laughs> probably. I guess she would have a 20. Uh, she throws it into a dartboard on the far side of the uh, inn and you, or a tavern, and you hear her go, still got it. <laughs> These are my other four daggers. <laughs> Bitch, she used to be an adventurer. <laughs> She used to be a mentor, but then she took a quill to the knee. That's right. <laughs> ah. Ah. Okay, there's a kerfuffle outside Cygnus. Everybody else is uh, in I will, amazement. Uh, I will uh, tell the uh, the rest of the guys, gal, that <coughs> noise outside. Um, I, I take a peek. I guess it's people waiting to eat. It is not. Uh, actually, the citizens have found the large pile of bodies uh, down at Woo's Pigs uh, and have noticed a significant scarcity of guard slash pirate types and are now rampaging through the streets trying to seek out the evildoers. Uh, Mark, roll me a d4. 
and hopefully we're not the evil doers. Uh, three. <laughs> they are currently in hot pursuit of three guards, <laughs> and as Cygnus peeks out, <laughs> the crowd is chasing them north. <laughs> That would be a great time for us to try to go to the could go to the uh, palace. Well, did yeah. we get... I mean, are we all healthy? No. Uh, uh, healthy, yes. I have some spell slots that are missing. I mean, I don't care. We can do it. Let's go. What's well, the worst it, that it, can happen? It is right around noon. Uh, so, sometime right. this afternoon, you guys were going to give uh, tarmac asphalt the notice That's to right. uh, come in and help. Well, it, we sent up some smoke signals. Yeah, don't we have to? I, the one lady, she was going to do that for us. Mm -hmm. oh, Is she yeah, on the way to the Thank you. castle? <laughs> As you guys step outside, it is complete and utter mayhem uh, as the citizens seemingly have retaken their city yeah. uh, and much like the Ewoks are starting to collect heads of pirates. Nice. Uh, so it is, uh, it is a savage world that we live in and Palaki is uh, no different. <laughs> Quinn looks around. I could stay here. <laughs> Vacation <laughs> home. That's right. Should probably take care of the pirates first. Yeah. All right. Yeah, we need to head towards the palace and the one lady to set off our flare. Okay. Uh, you guys have all seen the D&D &D movie, right? Yes. Yes. The people of Palaki are treating the pirates that they've captured just like the owlbearer did with the red wizard at the end of the movie. <laughs> just. <laughs> hey, should we take the heads of the... Uh, the bosses and put them on uh, broomsticks and what like walk yeah. into the building with walk them in there like hey, hold them in, in front of us right hold <laughs> well, them in front of the eye thing yeah I was thinking for intimidation uh, if you guys want to I'm not touching that that'd be sticky I'm not gonna do it either no, or, no Cornella I... takes a pass on that as well. I'll put all three. I'll be like a you giant. Just hold oh. it up and go, la, 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 la. Four men enter. One man leave. <laughs> uh, you guys head over to the palace and you notice that the two guards outside are no longer there, but the door is locked. I'll pick it. There right. we go. Uh, on the way, I'll give inspiring leader to everyone. So we all have 11 temp hit points. Nice. Oh. I need that. Write that on there real quick before I forget. All right, I'm going to try to attempt to pick lock, which is, let's see. What, man? Uh, was it uh, Mark's 11. girlfriend who was going to set up the uh, notice or somebody else? No, I broke up with her. That was the alchemist. We were, we were, we're done. Sure. The alchemist comes up and goes, we have retaken the city. Great. What's your role, Darius? Fifteen. Uh, bad for me. It, it, it's a little bit sketchy, but it does pop open. Uh, right. The the alchemist says, "Am I supposed to send up the uh, flares?" Yes. Yes, please. Do we want yes. to do that, or? Well, she walks around the corner, takes a rock, and she starts striking these uh, bamboo rods. We don't know all... what's going to be in the castle. All well, of a yeah, sudden, but... uh, Roman rockets are going off, and they're. Even in the bright sunlight, uh, it's clearly obvious that, holy shit, that is a signal. <laughs> mm. uh, Darius uh, smirks at you guys and goes, Viola. <laughs> there you go. You push open the door? Yeah. Let's go. Uh, you push open the door, and there is this a beautiful antechamber with marbled floors. You guys have been here before. You've seen it. You recognize it. You also recognize Queen Zara. Hey, there's Queen Zara, and there are two pirates. Move, and this bitch gets it. <laughs> Better not hurt her, or you're going to die a real painful death. Oh, I'll hurt her. 
I, I will hurt her. I will hurt her now. You guys back away. We're going to our ship. You guys are going to let us alone. Uh, and then you can have her back, but you're going to back off. And each one, there are two swords on her. I, I do a whisper aside. I say we let them, like, do this for now. And Fine, we can always chase them. Yeah, see if Tar Golmac almost... shows hey, up for a distraction. I almost want to cast Shatter on all three of them. We can save the queen. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> and if you have Spare of the Dying, she can... <laughs> Yeah, blast, her, blast the other two away from her. We'll heal you her. Know, she's good to go. You, you absolutely know you'd roll max damage or a natural 20 or something and end up killing her. Kill her and <laughs> miss on the other two. Of course That's I right. Will. I'm not doing it. I want to, but I'm Always oh, shoot the <laughs> hostage. <laughs> All right, so no, I'm like, backing up. Back off. Back off. Back off. Ew! Ew! Heroes, save me! <laughs> That's why we're here. Uh, can I hmm. try charm person? Yeah. I'm going to back away from the door so they can feel more comfortable. 20 natural. Nice. I think I get the saving throw, though, do I not? Uh, yeah, it's a spell, so. and you roll it. Mm. Wisdom save, I believe. Well, I rolled a three. <laughs> so I, I'm not even going to bother to look that up. I think that might so fail. I'm charming both of them. I don't think uh, it's one target. I think. Yeah, uh, I think. It's, I thought you can upcast it from one. Yeah, because it's a, okay. Yeah, you might be able to do it too. first level, but I can move it up to whatever I need. At higher levels, when you cast the spell using a spell slot of second level or higher, you can target one additional creature. There you go. So I charm I, both those bitches. Well, the first one got a three. And the second one got an eight. Oh, <laughs> wow. Well, that was easy. I say, you boys don't want to do this. We're friendly. We don't want to do this. <laughs> you want to come with me. We want to come with her. These you want to do what well with her? <laughs> <laughs> bow, 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 bow. You can come with me, but you're going to come on him. Whoa. Cygnus, right? <laughs> yeah. Like, come on. I got a they, place we can go. They they lower their weapon. One of us. <laughs> one of us. And begin to slowly walk away from the queen who oh, faints. Yeah. I'll run. I'll, yeah. We'll, back, we'll back away from Quinn so she can yeah. lure them out. I lead them oh, out yeah. to my friends. I say, Cornella, would you like to help me? Before they start attacking, I'm going to try to grab the queen and <laughs> keep her from hurting herself as she faints. Uh, Cornella's obviously spent time in stir as she goes ape shit crazy and just starts. <laughs> <laughs> Is so it like she, aliens? <laughs> she, she has shanked a body or two in her life. Uh, she learned that from her cousin, and she just goes hog wild on this guy. Okay, I'll t I'll uh, get the other one, I guess. <laughs> And with a 19, she does a bang-up job. <laughs> okay, I ask her, you want to get your rage out on this guy, too? She, Didn't realize we were walking around with a barbarian. She flicks over her dagger, catches it, drops it at a really strange angle, and runs the zipper. <laughs> Ooh. And that one is a nat 20. <laughs> oh, <my God>. <laughs> <laughs> hey, get him out with Cornella. I, I she takes her dagger, grabs a hold of the guy's hair. It's a good dagger. Man, it if is. all I'd known, we had to like destroy your clothes to get that kind of reaction. <laughs> He's a good tail. Yeah, we should have helped all of uh, Darius, the Queen Zara's eyes flutter open. My savior. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, we're here to rescue you from these diamond pirates. She looks over, sees the mess that Cornell has made, 
<laughs> just right. chucks all over the floor. Uh, you can scrape the, the floor of Darius. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Darius D12 against me. If you win, <laughs> you're clean. If I win, you're dirty. Got a five. I got an eight. <laughs> Splash. Ugh. Ugh. <clears throat> this is royal puke. Uh, I believe I'm going to save it forever. You've pulled the vomit <laughs> from the queen. That makes you the rightful heir. That's right. <laughs> uh, she apologizes profusely, cleans herself up, and then stands up taking a very regal stance trying to clean the chunks out of her dirty gown. Uh, she looks around, uh, sees that Cornell and Quinn have dispatched the vagrant pirates says, very well, valiant heroes, let us cleanse Palaki of this scum. Uh, and all you can hear is, pew, pew, pew. it's like uh, Mogadishu. Uh, the alchemist just keeps setting off flares. So I ask her if there are any more pirates in the castle. I don't think so. I think we've strung a uh, few up. But uh, Cygnus, D-anything, D odd or even. Even two, uh, Quinn, roll me two d fours. Three. And. Well, I got a two and a one. Oh, okay. Two pirates have apparently been captured. They appear to be swabbies, for lack of a better term. Uh, they are petrified and show signs of welts. Uh, bruising, bleeding, and probably suffering from a concussion with one eyeball looking directly down and one eyeball looking directly up on uh, even the uh, level two pirate. Oh, mercy! Mercy! Tell us everything you know. Well, uh, my parents were not married. Uh, I was a Product of illegitimate lust. No, no, about the other pirates here. That explains a lot. Well, this is Jim. <laughs> Why are y'all here? I am Tiber. <laughs> Why were y'all here, Palaki? Well, these ruffians uh, nearly dispatched us and dragged us here. No, I meant. Why did the pirates come to Palaki? <laughs> oh, ah. Uh... I don't know. We follow orders or people die. Mm -hmm. Should have probably not killed all the captains in the league. They followed probably orders not. and people died. <laughs> oh, how about the other one? Jim? Mm -hmm. Jim. Pirate Jim. Pirate Jim, why were you here? Uh, I was here to do my sworn duty to the Brotherhood of the Red Diamonds. Ma'am. Yes, ma'am. And... There's this trickle of blood running out of his nose and out of his ear. For uh, what he purpose? is clearly uh, to 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 protect and to serve the people of Palaki. Okay. Jim's not <laughs> clicking on all. He could. He's got a head wound, so you know he Stockholm might. Stockholm syndrome. Eh, probably more of a severe concussion. Let's spin him around real fast. Where's so your leader? We killed him. Are you talking to Jim or Tiber? Both. Tiber's my leader. All right, Tiber, where's your leader? Uh, I, I, I do not know, kind sir. I uh, having trouble focusing at this point in time. Yeah, no. Okay. Who? Who is your leader? Uh, oh crap. I knew I should have pulled this sooner. Oh, it was the guy, the main guy that you guys killed. Cash. No. <laughs> Jackass. <laughs> Cashless. Uh, uh, yeah. not, the, not the rusty trombone. Credit. It's not uh, cash, it's credit. Captain Leonard, Captain Simeus, and Bosun Tarly. Uh, so he, the ones that you're talking to now, Jim and Tiber, uh, come from different ships. 
So one would be Captain Leonard. He was the tough one. Uh, Captain Simeus was the other tough one. Okay. <laughs> is it just so because his elbow looked like a butt? <laughs> that is. That was his butt. <laughs> Whoa! Don't tell you two. We're trying to we're trying to increase ratings. Whoa. Not working. <laughs> <laughs> So yes, you, Captain Leonard and Captain Simeus, sir, sir, yes, sir. So where did the third one come from? Third who? Captain. The third oh. captain. No, that was a bosun, bosun Tarly. Oh, okay. So like, we've pretty much taken care of everything here. We saved the queen. I guess we should go check out the uh, boats. Who needs Ch God when you have us? Targolmet comes in through the west gate because remember. Uh, the peers are outside. He comes in. Uh, each of he and his SEAL team, four and a half, uh, all have mugs of ale. And they're like, hey, they got ale on the ships. Seriously? <laughs> you wanted us to help. We helped. What did you do? Well, they had a couple of people on each boat. So we, uh... were we not supposed to do that? No, it's perfectly fine. That's great. That's a great idea. Yeah, now you got two ships out I'd there. I'd like to introduce you to the queen. Madame. Tarmac. Maybe she'll find him. Tarball. Maybe he'll... You look familiar. <laughs> <laughs> he assures her that that was somebody else that looked exactly like him. He has a twin brother who's a notorious pirate. He pronounces that he is a lover, not a fighter. Gold Tarmac. He's his brother. This is Asphalt Tarmac. Asphalt. <laughs> I lean in and I, I say I can give you know, on Yelp review I'll give a three and a half, so, you know. <laughs> I was, he goes, yeah, we took care of the crew. Not many of them on there. Hmm. Yeah. But yeah, the ships out there are I know I wrote that one down. It is the dolphin and the oyster. Ugh. We need to take the dolphin and the oyster and any help that we need our queen here can provide. I would be happy to help you in your endeavors for saving the land of Palaki. But first, a feast. I like that She's idea. I like the sound of that. <laughs> She's a Julia Child Elizabeth. <laughs> <laughs> I I intend upon knighting each of you. Oh. Well, so you're going to receive knighthood nice. status of play. Okay. That well, would be nice. So we're not jocularity scum anymore, or was that somewhere else? No, that was everywhere. Okay. <laughs> For now, sir and ma'am, jocularity scum. <laughs> sir scum and lady scum. <laughs> She looks around, her uh, faithful people come up. <laughs> we shall knight them as official members of our community for the great service that they have done. Go get some fish from the bay. We will have a feast. Somebody contact Wu. His pigs are looking large. <laughs> <laughs> well, we all get Drink some ale all... and fish for the day? Huh? Uh, what the heck? Strangely, uh, Tar Golmec and some of his guys found, found, just, you know, lying around a couple of casks that uh, they've liberated. Casks <laughs> nice, of? Though. Ale. Oh, well, nice of course. Tar Golmec. Yeah, they, uh, you know, How many is he willing to give us, though? I, uh, enough to go around. <laughs> <laughs> He goes, I'll send these two. He also found another five. <laughs> yeah, he, I, I can send the, the men back to go help with the fishing. And you have enough to help clean up the city while we're at it? What are we going to clean up? They had, they ran an efficient operation here. Oh, that's true. Feed the fish with them. Well, you know, dispose uh, well, of the bodies. <laughs> Queen Zara invites you in and asks if this uh, lover, not fighter, is with you as well. He is an ally of sorts. He shall be knighted as well. Mm. <laughs> Aren't you worried about watering down the title? There's only six of you. Mm. Yes, but 
that means five of us deserve it. Probably a lot of the. Nice. Hey, I killed a lot of people. Uh, Deservedly. Incapacitated. <laughs> Unalive. Well, you got to remember, Shut a lot of their I'm knights were lost too. when the pirates attacked. So that's true. Their numbers. Well, actually, there's a lot of them still incarcerated. Oh, okay, good. Uh, she asks Tar Goldbeck if he's ever been in a dungeon and if he might be able to liberate them. He points out that uh, while he has heard of these dungeons, uh, <laughs> he will go take a look to see if he can liberate them. <laughs> Shall we give him a piece of chicken, a chicken bones? <laughs> and he I've uh, got my favorite <laughs> <laughs> yeah he ain't no fool he's keeping that so uh, the queen invites you in there's going to be a nice uh, celebration uh, she invites you into the palace which is eh, it's a little grimy a little dirty the pirates didn't take real good care of it uh, Tar Golmec releases the loyalist guards uh, we'll say I don't know 28. 28 guards are freed. Uh, uh, they go in. Uh, you got some sergeants and shit like that in there. They're going to go ahead and <clears throat> start getting cleanup crews to go ahead and clean up the damage caused by the people chasing the pirates. Yada, yada, yada. Uh, midway through her, uh, your recitation of what has occurred, because she is definitively interested in that, uh, a runner comes in and looks apprehensive. <clears throat> What's wrong? Uh, begging the lady's pardon, I, uh, 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 I, I have some news to report. She's like, are we not getting enough fish? Uh, uh, no, uh, no, your highness, we are, we are getting plenty of fish. Actually, that we are getting a significant amount of fish. We are low on water. Oh, no. Uh-oh. Uh, she, of course, does not have the experience you guys do, is adequately puzzled, and she goes, what do you mean we do not have any water? We uh, need to get everyone to high ground. Quickly. I trust your judgment. She claps her hands and calls for the captain of the guards, who was the lieutenant of the guards. Uh, he has been promoted in the death. And uh, she says, get everyone to high ground immediately on my order. So they're going to head out the north gate. All right. And she asks, why? This is probably the, the work of Muru, who we're actually looking for. She Muru had the ability to command water. <laughs> But the bay is exceptionally large. But it's yeah, but exceptionally she, shallow right now. And she did that to whatever country that was. Kios. Kios. What happens Blood. is the water goes out and then it comes back in as a big wave and it'll wash over all the dogs. Well, the good news is the wall should protect us. Because mm -hmm. remember, walled city docks are on the outside. Yeah. Maybe. But we may want to move our ships. She goes, I need to take a closer look at this. Will you accompany me atop uh, parapets? As as high up as you want to go, yes. To the parapets, then. Uh, where Mark had originally backstabbed the one dude, uh, that is the ladder that she is going to take. As you guys climb up behind her, she heads to the south, uh, walking along the parapets, Oh, see, the ocean is fine right there. Uh, and as you look out to the east, uh, the ocean appears to be quite intact. Uh, but as you circumvent your way around, as you get to the south where the bay is, the bay is lacking in a substantial amount of water, and several of the townspeople are out in the middle of the mud collecting fish flopping around. The dolphin mm. and the oyster are stuck in mud uh, good news Targolmex men are uh, freedom riders for the ale kegs still in the ship <laughs> to the two underneath both 
Do we see any uh, other ships in the distance, horizon? No, uh, your ship is too far out. <clears throat> but everybody will investigation. Okay. Ooh, nat 20. <laughs> oh, I got the same. a boatload of investigation. 14. 29. Two. Uh, Quinn uh, does not see anything. Mark, you see a, a faint fog in the distance, but that fog, as Cygnus and Darius will tell you, is the tsunami wave coming back into the bay. It's very tall and very fast. We point that out to the queen. That's coming at us. I think that we should probably move. <laughs> the higher ground, yes. Let's see what spells I have. Hold up. I have definitely nothing that can stop a tsunami. <laughs> well, what about... Yeah, we do. We have the... I can do that, but I'm we have the uh, earth stone. Maybe we can build up a huge wedge. You do, yes. I did not easy. learn. I don't have the... I don't have the earth stone. I have the time. Every, yeah. But we got trained on it, though. Airstone is Darius. I think Earthstone is Ark or Quinn. Mm -hmm. Quinn? I didn't. It was Quinn. I didn't learn any of it. I was getting all the information from the but, other person. That's right. All right. So I'm like, well, let me see what I can do. Give me a wisdom roll, please. Oh, roll well. Eighteen. That's a good roll. You do remember what you're doing. Uh, give me a percentage roll. Let's see if you come up with the likely scenario. <laughs> uh, Fifty-two. That's interesting. <laughs> uh you guys watch as Quinn pulls forth the Earthstone. Um, strange arcane words exit her mouth, and you can actually see them moving out. She appears to be in a trance. Her eyes are rolled back in her head. Something is cascading out of the stone like waves, uh, and you see all of the beach moving out to the sea, in a chevron like a snow plow formation uh give me a d20 quinn eleven eleven feet tall it just completely pushes out uh as the water rushes in do you guys stay on the parapet and hope that quinn's I don't think that's gonna be enough <laughs> no i i would have already been just pushing the queen away even while she was Get up, lay hands on me! I, I, I'm figuratively pushing. Let's go. Figuratively? Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, but this is the high point, though, right? <laughs> yeah, well, well, it's, it's the highest safe. point we on need the to, fence. We need to go up hill. And up. Uh, Quinn, you were locked in your trance. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, everybody else is running. Uh, the water is coming in. Of course, it is descending a little bit. It's not going to maintain that high volume. But it's going to come in and it's going to hit that chevron dead center. It's going to split the water in two. Give me 2d20 twice, Quinn. First one is for the dolphin. Second one is for the oyster. And three. Oh, that's not bad. And fourteen and six. So twenty and eighteen. Uh, Darius, Mark, Cygnus, you uh, hustle the queen out like she's POTUS. Uh, you hear the roar. You hear a loud crashing. Uh, you hear wood creaking. Uh, do you continue away from the wall? Yeah, I do. Get away, get away, get away. Uh, Quinn, uh, D12 against me. If you win, Cornella stays with you. If not, she GTFOs. 
Five. Five. Reroll. Nine. Twelve. GTFO. You stand alone. <laughs> the <laughs> the T stands alone. <laughs> That's right. Uh, I'll stay with her. With your with your power uh, fading, uh, you your eyes return to normal, and all you see is this giant wave coming in. It splits apart. It hits both pirate ships, wipes out most of the fleet of fishing vessels. Uh, it does 18 hit points of damage, or structural points of damage to the dolphin, 20 to the oyster. Um, you know what? I'm going to say there were seven people collecting fish or ale. Roll a D8. That's how many perish. It won't Great. be any higher than seven. Putting it all on me. Four. Four people cannot escape the wrath. Wait, do we still get which one do we get loose? Fish or ale? <laughs> Important. E each one Important of you question. roll a die. If oh, it's no. an odd, it's a fish person. If it's an even, it's an ale person. Odd. Ale. ale. Fish. <laughs> ale. So okay. two ale and two fish. That was the most important role of the Pretty much. Of the <laughs> It's okay, we got the ale. We got some ale left. Secret Service, Mark, Secret Service, Darius. Uh, <laughs> the walls appear to be holding. Uh, you've, you, you've thrown your tunic up and over her, trying to hide her. Uh, like and, <laughs> that's right. <laughs> it smells like cheese under here. Mine smells like yak. Uh, her, her own vomit. Her yeah. own yak. She she digs in her heels and she's like a queen does not run and stops. You two want to carry her off because she's a short, short, squat little thing. I mean, you could pick her up. Uh, yeah, but you don't run. But we're just trying to get you to the I, so the I, water doesn't drown you. I grab her. Okay. Uh. The catwalk shudders and shakes violently. Uh, as you guys glance around, uh, you two give me perception checks. 25. Uh, two. Uh, Darius, you don't see shit because uh, you must have a little bit of vomit in your eye. Mark, you notice Cygnus is crying at the far end as well. Water comes cascading up and douses both of them, but his head is in his hands. <laughs> uh, we you, lost you, ale. You, you don't know what happened, uh, but yes, you lost two things of ale, so <laughs> it's very sad. But it could be me. You don't know. No, you're standing right there. Oh, okay. Uh, Quinn and Cygnus, you are both soaked uh, some water. Has, water, right? <laughs> has escaped <laughs> over. There's kelp hanging off their <laughs> shoulders. Uh, Starfish. That's right. Uh, and Mark, you see what appears to be a ship's mast over to the left. Can I tell which ship? Uh, remember in every zombie movie where they just pile on top of each other trying mm -hmm. to get to the top? Those are all fishing boats. Yeah. <laughs> There's going to be a significant amount of damage here uh, that will need repaired. Um, who wants to roll the percentage to see how much you're destroyed with the rest of it just being damaged? Not me. I'll roll. That was too much pressure on me. Let's call David. Yes. <laughs> I can roll it. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. Um, 17. Oh, that's not bad. 17% lost. Uh... 83 damaged. So, uh, and the dolphin, the oyster are damaged. Uh, they are salvageable and they are saleable. Uh, about this time, Tar Golmec comes up the walkway to where Mark and Darius is and goes, what the hell's going on? What was that? Muru just attacked. Waves. I didn't even see her coming. She waved at us. That's what they all say. She's around? Well, let's get to the boats. Let's go get her. Well, we don't really know. We just know the water 
attack she could us. Be hundreds of miles away, I think. Hmm. She sent a tidal wave at us. That doesn't. How seem did she right. find out about that we had already freed the? Like she would have been attacking her own people, <laughs> unless she knows something because she's got remote. <laughs> You think she gives a shit about the Red Diamond Pirates? She doesn't care. <laughs> I think the one town she hasn't attacked. She's experimenting or doing some shit over there. Knocking out any defense against her, any offense against her. Could be. Uh, folks at home, sorry about this. Uh, maybe this will clue you in. The Great Tempest? You guys are here. Mm-hmm. She is allegedly here. Mm-hmm. Be a the, timing wa- issue. The water was drawing out this way. Or she's so got she's... us trapped. She pinned us in. Or is she in locks? Well, we're in locks. No, you guys are in Palaki. Right. No, she I'm saying she's in locks. in locks. Could be. Or, or she attacked locks and also attacked here. Correct. Took care of two with one stone. An earthquake ah, causes a tsunami. Ah, two with one stone. Ah, 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 ah. So, uh, clearly you have some questions. Uh, the queen, now escaping uh, armpit cheese Darius, uh, orders you to let her down, Mark. I am the queen. I am not carried like some kind of woos pig. We, we were protecting you ma'am and I think now is the time to clean up and Cut determine our, our our strategy I would agree it is time for a shower for some of you <laughs> be like bitch you got vomit all over you Yeah, well you guys are covered what? in blood because you killed like I don't know 87 people I don't I have <laughs> kelp <laughs> that's true wait a minute are we still having the festival? <laughs> yes. Cygnus, you now have crabs. Cygnus, how much <laughs> ale do we have? Uh, well, we have to have the festival to com- commemorate our dead. Sure, we can do that. We will have the festival tonight. Uh, she calls oh, Lieutenant of the Guard uh, back, who she'll, she'll promote tonight at tonight's feast, uh, and ask uh, what the damage is. He will report he has no idea, and he will go out and check. Uh, as he opens up the gates to the west, uh, one of Tar Golmec's men and one of the fishermen will come in covered in kelp. Uh, <laughs> and Tar Golmec will run up did you save the ale? <laughs> uh, outside the gate, if you guys go out and look, you will see the dolphin and the oyster are beached. But uh, they appear to be seaworthy. But there's so, no water in the bay? Yeah, the the water's back. We just have to pull oh. it back off the beach. Yeah. I got you. They got it just shoved got up onto the pushed beach. Pushed up, yeah. So uh, the festival will be done at sundown. That gives you guys plenty of time to clean up. The townspeople will start dragging the dregs of fishing vessels down uh, for a little inducement. They might even uh, drag the dolphin or the oyster back in. You have no idea what your ship is like because it's several miles away. Hmm. No one have a telescope? Well, it was a what a scope? <laughs> it was hidden in the Bay of Seca. Boy, that is a that is wrong font choice for that map. Uh, the Bay well, of Seca. Somebody could do a flyby. That's true. That's I true. Could. How long? How far away is it? Just a couple miles. Oh yeah, I can do that. In an hour, I could get there and back. Don't forget to shower. <laughs> I'll shower on queen. my way back. <laughs> nice. Uh, while Darius is uh, flying high in the midnight sky, uh, Quinn, Cygnus, and Mark, what do you guys want to do? Um, and rest. I want to check to make sure 
or did see if there was any damage in the you said all the other pirates were in the like the dungeon no the uh true guardsmen were in the uh dungeon they have been I'll, released you guys have two prisoners jim and tiber so i want to ask the queen if there are any secret weapons that she might have that we could use to defeat Muru with lasers <laughs> yeah lasers okay. mutated sea bass which something uh Cygnus what do you want to do um I was going to rest okay although you know, have we have we searched all those dead people yet nope Searched them. Oh yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna search some dead people. Well, the the only ones you haven't searched because the others are in Wu's pig's guts uh, are the three leaders, the pirate. Yeah, leaders. I'm gonna I'm gonna search the three leaders. Fair enough. And Mark, uh, I was gonna do a check of damage that was made, any bodies we find, kind of get an assessment for the queen. Sure. Uh, D twelve against me. Oh, and throw away the pot of uh, poisoned food so I nobody see. else gets it. Uh, eight. You aren't going to drop it off at the uh, orphan orphanage? <laughs> Ooh, no, that would be good. Do we uh, get experience I, points for all the kids that die? That's true. Yeah, kids kids are high value experience points. <laughs> well, um, they are a drain on society. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Uh, I rolled a one, Mark. Good news. Uh the guy uh, with the ale uh, kegs, uh, he did not survive, but the ale kegs. Oh, nice. So you are now in possession of two more ale kegs. Uh, Tar Goldmack will accompany you uh, and say, Ah, Steve, I knew him well. Well, one keg for you and one keg for me, my friend. Let's go over and look at the dolphin and the oyster. Say, how many did you store and tell us you didn't find? earlier. Ew. <laughs> you and can run sight. <laughs> and saying. how many have you not now told us? Uh, 16. He's having a He's lying. <laughs> yeah, how about we go check those ships and see how uh, many what? casts you've, uh, you've oh. secreted away. Sure. Uh, there are people looking around at these two ships. Obviously, these are pirate vessels, so they're very sleek. Uh, a little bit bigger than yours, so if you want them, uh, they are free for the taking. And, as the Margu guys will tell you, more than one boat means somebody can be an admiral. <laughs> oh! <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, admiral Daddy Mark. That's right. See? Mark, Markle. roll a d20, Mark. D20. 14. Seven. Uh, there are seven rings of dust uh, indicating seven missing kegs. Uh, that is in the dolphin. Roll a d20. That's my nice tree. Three. Uh, there are still... Or there were spots for five kegs here, and you have found three. Three. So there should have been 12, and we found three, five, and he's yep. told us about two. So that's seven. So there's five missing. Five more. Plus or minus. All right. Well, Tor um, how about this? Give us the cast back. I'll give you three. I won't tell anyone else, just the two of us around here. Give me two and one of these vessels to call me own. I'll give you the vessel when everything is said and done with Muru. Both of them. You have them both. Well, we, we gotta get back home. <laughs> well, supposedly we have the other boat. Persuade me. Uh, I'm good at that. Finally a good roll. 26. Uh, I can't beat that. Ah. Uh, Seems like a fair accord. Uh, deal. Uh, right. He go he goes over and stuff behind a bunch of like 
extra sails and shit like that are the missing kegs. <laughs> they didn't walk very far because, you know, people could see that shit. Kegs are heavy. That's right. Uh, right. Cyg- Cygnus, uh, you found uh, on Captain Leonard, he has a magic cutlass plus two. Ooh. Captain Simeus has a magic cutlass plus one. And Bosun Tarly uh, had bracers uh, that added plus two to his AC, nice. which is what made him so difficult to hit. Ooh, I'm taking the bracers. Hell, nobody's around. Take all of it. I was going to say, take it all. <laughs> nobody's here. To well, I'm going to take it all, but I don't need a. I didn't have any money. Two... No, all, all the money's on the ship. Uh, Cygnus, there's a bowl of porridge if you're hungry. Yeah, no. no. Are you sure? <laughs> Actually, I guess I will. I will. Is the is a cutlass considered a martial weapon? Uh, it's uh, like a short sword, I think, or a scimitar. So I, I, a scimitar's a martial weapon, I assume. Yeah. I'll take the plus. I'll take them both, but then I'll offer the plus one to anybody in the party if they want it. Wow, you're taking the bracers and a sword? Cocksucker. Hell yeah. Uh, Darius, roll me investigation, please. Okay, Uh, that is a 21. You do find the vessel. D12 against me. Let's see if it's okay. Yikes. I rolled a one. Ah. Rolled a five. It is on its side. And there were no men left here, or were there? Uh, I'm going to look around and see if I see any survivors. Eh. Roll me a d6. Got a five. Five of them. Uh, they're in pretty bad shape. They're like, holy shit, did you see that wave come in? I fly down a little bit lower, but I don't land because I don't want to be within reach. Holy shit, it's a witch! Shoot him! <laughs> <laughs> whoa, whoa, hey, I'm with Car Goldmat. Burner! Burner! <laughs> and Get I the say, trebuchet! <laughs> I say, that, guys, uh, Car Goldmat's back at the uh, we got uh, Targol back, back at uh, Palaki. Go ahead and uh, take the 405. Uh, <laughs> yeah, y'all might want to head that way because he's got new ships. He's got new shirts? Ships. No, That's no. I'm he's got the ships. I'm constipated. I'm constipated. Ale. Tell them they have oh, ale. There's ale. There's going to be a big party. Oh, See you at the party, dang. Richter. Uh, yeah. Uh, you know what? They start trekking north, so fuck that ship. <laughs> <laughs> well, they can't fix it probably by themselves, and five guys can't flip a ship. <laughs> well, so they're they're headed back. Uh, you're trying to do the uh, hypotenuse of the Socratic method. Uh, you best get back before you end up in the drink. Yeah, I fly back. Uh, uh, roll a d20. If you roll a 1, uh, you're in the drink. If you roll a 2, uh, you come skidding across the waves. Like a duck. <laughs> I've rolled a fucking 1. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Uh, <laughs> splash. Like Harry Potter with smoke <laughs> coming off his broom. <laughs> <laughs> uh, roll me a d10. Uh, that is how many uh, tens of feet you are away from shore. I'm 90 feet. (laughs) I will start swimming. (laughs) Incoming! Did he hold on to the broom? He's he's holding on to the broom doing the dog paddle. (laughs) Yeah. Upside Uh, down. (laughs) <laughs> he just keeps flopping over once in a while. Uh, Mark and Targolmek, you see this. Uh, <laughs> that boy done soaked himself. <laughs> uh, Cygnus, you've got the stuff. Where do you want to go after getting the stuff? 
Yeah, back to the palace. Sure you don't want any of that porridge? No, we're going to feed it's it to the kids. Time. To the orphans. Nice. Save uh, the orphans. Quinn, what do you want to do? Y'all look so hungry. <laughs> um, Got porridge. <laughs> I don't know. I guess I'm just kind of like looking around. Watch a movie, maybe? Yeah, I mean. Find Mark's girlfriend? Traitorous yeah. bitch? Again, yeah, I was going to. She doesn't want to be mine anymore. I was going to mention that, but I didn't. Uh. I just look around for anybody, anything that might be useful as we go back out. D12 against me. Three. Six. Remember that little old lady you guys keep running into? Mark's girlfriend? No. Um, what was her name? The one that was uh, where we had the land shark. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she's there. Hmm. Oh, Is the witch! And she's no, like the, a... she's also the little witch lady, right? Mm-hmm. That was at the beginning. That uh, she's the one that told him about us. Yep. Do I see the her? bread lady? It's the, the bread, bread witch. It's the bread lady. lady. Mm-hmm. The bread yeah, the bread lady's here. I'm like, hey, what's up, sister? Oh, nothing. I was just enjoying the view here in Palaki when all of this trouble started. Wait, I thought she turned into Corrine. Maru, or yeah. She did. Okay. So now oh. she's back in her disguise, Corrine is? Or yep. And I'm like, you know, I'm feeling very defeated right here. We Why had, is that? We had ships. We were going to have people to go with us. Now we have ships... They're half destroyed. We don't have people to go with us to try to defeat Muru. I'm just... I'm having a lack of faith. Oh. E12 against me. Two. Four. She pats you on the shoulder and suddenly you feel all better. Like you're completely healed. And she goes... Don't worry, dear. Right before it's darkest comes the dawn. Okay. There, 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 little girl. Thank you. Um, yeah, I, I, I was going to boost one of your major attributes, but you didn't beat me on the roll, so I'm just going to heal you instead. I appreciate that. Are, are you going to be staying here in Palaki or? Have a cookie. <laughs> have some porridge <laughs> are you like the lady from the matrix yes have you right as rain that's right oh look at the pretty flowers are you going to be staying here or are you going to be moving on oh I will probably move on you just never know where life will take you that's true you should enjoy it she goes but you know what what Everybody's knee is the size of a thirteen-year-old's a thirteen-year-old girl's knee. That's very true. I knew a man that used to tell me that. You never know when that information might come in handy. I appreciate that. Well, she gives you a second cookie. Good travels. I'll take that cookie. It's thin mint, right? Uh, I don't know. What's the grossest Girl Scout cookie? Shortbread. Oh, yeah. Is there really a I like Girl Scout cookie? That's true. Uh, it's the it's a thin mint. Oh, God, these are so good. Hey, uh, you know, and remind me to take a check in tomorrow. Next week, <laughs> they're coming. Yeah, because one of our dispatchers' kids is selling it, so I have to buy them. Uh, so anyway. Uh, are you going to go to the um, palace after that, Quinn? Yeah. Okay. Uh, Mark, are you and Tar Golmec going to try and catch the big fish there? Hey, Jonah, yeah. get yeah. your ass out. <laughs> In fact, I'll uh, polymorph. I'll jump into the water, polymorph as a dolphin, and go get him. <laughs> drag him back in. <laughs> That's a <laughs> hawk. <laughs> 
He's going to get uh, raped by a shark. <laughs> Darius, you have been saved. A, z- a zonky shark. Oh, my God. <laughs> no. He's going to get raped by the dolphin. <laughs> uh, dolphin, you can grab a hold of Mark, who you can pretty much tell that he's going to be the only one to help you in dolphin form. Uh, <laughs> and, and you go in, there is just kelp everywhere. Uh Great from where you went in. Uh, You guys reach land. Quinn, by the time you get to the palace, Cygnus here is all decked out in finery. (laughs) Queen has ordered ordered clothing for you guys. Nice. Wow. I'm looking for the nearest shower room. Well, you just dumped yourself. Yeah, yeah, but it's seawater. And and since you floated, you're a witch. It'll be good for your hair, though. You'll have those beach curls. Mm. Yeah, you can look like, uh, I don't know, somebody from the 50s, Troy Donahue or something. No relation to Phil. Uh, <clears throat> okay, yes, uh, they will point in the general direction where you can rinse off, Darius. And get new clothing. Yeah, well, by the time each of you gets to the palace, including Tar Golnek, uh, who's digging the duds, uh, Cygnus here looks like uh, Little Boy Blue. Quinn uh, has a bigger rack than you thought she did because those things are jacked up, as is Cornella's. <laughs> uh, and Cornella has a, a beauty mark oh, right, nice. right here, uh, but she's like pasted over like she's from the 17th century or something, or 18th century. <laughs> the France. Hunger Games, the lady yeah. from the Hunger Games. That's right. Yeah. Uh, but uh, as the festivities begin. The queen cleaned herself up, doesn't feel the least bit grossed out. The city is making a comeback. Everybody's put a concerted effort in. Uh, she gives a very long winded speech. Everybody give me a constitution check. Mm. <laughs> 10, 19, uh, constitution 21, uh, 15. Cygnus, I didn't hear you. Son of a bitch. <laughs> Six. Uh, Cygnus falls asleep. Quinn yawns <laughs> noticeably. The rest of you uh, are intent on listening to uh, the accolades being given out. Every time she turns to Tar Golmek, he. Uh... Nice. <laughs> and he, he is. He's digging his duds. And. He, giving the old thumbs up to his men in the crowd. Rawr, rawr. Uh, you can smell roasted pig. Mm. Sorry. Woo. Ooh, uh, pig. Roasted fish. Uh, well they, fed pigs. That's right. They have something called potatoes. Uh, it's going to be a big feast. Uh, the queen finally gets done. Cygnus D12 against me. Let's see if she notices you over there snoring. Oops. 12. Uh. <laughs> Eleven. Oh, uh, she catches you, but as everybody gives a uh, significant round of applause, you <laughs> doing the Joker there. Uh, she did, however, <laughs> catch you. Uh, she uh, then performs the knighting ceremony. Uh, should I nick your ear, Cygnus? <laughs> I don't know. With these dudes bracers, you probably can't do it. <laughs> he's probably got him hidden under his cap anyway. You know, he's a hero. He was probably tired from all of his uh, heroism. Yeah, heroism. Heroics. Nap, a nap 20 means I'm going to nick your ear on purpose. I don't want to have to kill a queen, but that... <laughs> kill the queen. Fourteen. Uh, she, oh, Sir Cygnus, arise. Uh, the same thing goes with uh, Sir Mark, uh, Sir Darius, Lady Quinn, Lady Cornella, and Master of Shipping, uh, oh. Lord Golmack. Oh, he, oh. of course. Uh, so while you guys were off dicking around, he was. Dicking. Dicking. Dicking around. There you go. He is Good for him. So Good he's for her. The, yeah. She's the, 
he he gets the uh, brushes on his shoulder. Nice. And he goes, Get me a new job. I I still intend on taking you home, though. Oh, I appreciate that. I am a man of my word. We'll always have a chicken bone to reminisce over. <laughs> this chicken bone, and, and he's he's got a gold necklace, and it's been like solvented on. <laughs> I will always carry this as a mark of our friendship, my friends. Very uh, good. Accolades are received. Cornella will get a cleaning of her clothes to uh, bring it bring it back. Uh, she's still going to be mad because, you know, now the new is gone. But yeah, you can't release that rage and just have it go back. That's right. She, uh, she is also sporting uh, a small scabbard uh, that goes on her inner thigh uh, oh. because there was still a little bit left over. Me rare. Uh, uh, maybe it was Cletus skin, but yeah. it's got that red tinge, so it's probably going to be uh, the, the dragon. Well, yeah, it wasn't a dragon though. Ampather, whatever. Yep. Uh, you guys are now up one level. <gasps> hey. So uh, Tar Golmec, uh is drinking a copious amount of ale and at one point in time puts his arm around the queen. It is rebuffed because eh, we're out in public well, here. I lean over and I'm like, look, you might want to cut back on that ale because that can affect, you know, <laughs> performance. <laughs> I brought what? me splints for that. <laughs> oh. You're not jealous that he, he moved on? No, not at all. It is a queen. Her he name was, is Frederica Mercury. She's like, I upgraded. <laughs> he was just a diversion while we were, you know, at sea. Just a diversion. I hey, believe, so we're now ninth level? I believe you're eighth level. I thought we were twelfth. Do you want to be fourth? <laughs> <laughs> is it really eight? Yes. It's eight. really yes. eight. Okay. Uh, you guys party hard uh, with uh, Wayne uh sure. and uh the celebration goes deep into the night deep into the night uh you guys will be giving rooms at the palace which you know eh, not bad you know it's eh, still a little stinky it's gonna take a while to get the stank from the pirates out right. of there uh but you know nice rooms uh in the morning your clothes will have been cleaned uh you may keep the i'll be sleeping on a real bed you're sleeping on a real bed, feather bed, man. Classy. Uh, wow. Palaki's classy. This this place is nice. Uh, nobody sees the bread lady other than Quinn. Uh, the next morning, uh, breakfast fit for a queen uh, is available for you. She and Tar Golmec are there, uh, as is her lieutenant slash new captain of the guard. Uh, and she asks what she can do for you. In gratitude... Uh, for saving Palaki along with the uh, honorary knighthood. What can she do to help? First of all, I, did you hear anything from Locks? Have we gotten any word if there's... We do not normally communicate with Locks. Fair we enough. can send uh, owls. How long would that take? Owls. Uh, two days. Nah. Uh, we will, you probably should. Will we be here in two days? Well, the boats are still need to be repaired. That's true. Well, they're dragging them off. They'll be ready by noon. Well, I thought that, I mean, even though they were beached, I thought they needed some repair. Yeah. They can do it quick. They're yeah. professionals uh, you, here. You got 50 hit points on those things, and you lost 20 and 18. So they're still seaworthy. But if you guys want to stay a couple days, you're more than welcome to. I mean, I, she's not going to kick you out. No, I just think that we should make sure that we know everything that's going on that we should. Like, did she attack locks? Was this we, just an errant earthquake that happened? It's kind of on the way. We could just do a flyby. Nah, eh, that's true. Sort of. Really, Aquaman? You're going to do another flood? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, did your broom work today? He's a witch! My broom, the Nautilus. <laughs> I'll need to make sure I take up, less time next time. Up to you guys completely. I bow to the group. Do we want items? Do we need help? Do we need 
What do we need? I, I, okay, so I tell the queen what is happening, what we need to do, and I ask her if there's anything that she could help us with or anything that she knows that she could help us with that we're not thinking of. Uh, I can provide you with healing elixirs. I can provide for you a small amount of men, uh, and the pirate vessels are, uh, I suppose, yours, uh, at which point Tar Golmix is... Uh, <clears throat> Yes, yes. Your, we, your Highness, wow. uh, we, we've made arrangements on those. <laughs> they will be converted to warships for Palaki. <laughs> your Highness, do you have an armory or arcane storage where you know maybe we can find some... Uh, you store it? <laughs> <laughs> find some weapons or armor or... I do! ...that can help us. I have the armory of my father and his people. Uh, okay. As you know, my father was a great man and helped no. in the Battle of the Four Kings. Uh, I will provide for you uh, suitable armor. Uh, plus one armor for each of you, plus two if you already have plus one. Uh, it will be scale mail, a la hoplites. Mm -hmm. It'll be old, but weather. still usable. So, would she know anything about the constructs that uh, Maru would have? Nope. <laughs> Not with that roll. I I am unfamiliar. I suppose you could go up and see uh, the Oracle of Delos. Yeah, we talked to that guy. <laughs> Guy's a douche. Yeah, he's, <laughs> he's kind of cranky. What about any uh, like spells of invisibility? I would not have that. Or cloak. Um, of what type of elixirs do you have? I know you mentioned healing elixirs. How potent are they? Oh, very potent. Mm -hmm. 3d8 plus 6. Holy shit. Yeah, we'll take whatever you have all those. She will have... 6. Nice. 3d8 plus what? 6. six. Ooh. And 6 of them. Uh, mark uh, D12 against me. Two. Six. Uh, I also have a potion that will allow you to breathe underwater. Oh. And roll a D4. Four. I also have a potion that should protect you from fire. Okay. Darius, you should get a cloak of mana right that way if you fall in the water with your you could be like a little submarine. I also have a potion that allows you to levitate. I mean, we'll just take everything. Right. Wow. Got the queen's place. Well, it will return you it. saved your life. If we don't use it, we'll return it. I also have a we'll potion, go. the fourth item, uh, that will allow you to turn into a odorless, tasteless gas... Uh, I like that. So it's gaseous form. I like to be odorless. <laughs> I would like to be odiferous. Just one each of those. I call it yes. I call it the old spice. <laughs> nice. Hi, karate. That's right, Darius. Uh, what do you want? Uh, gaseous form potion would be the useful. Mm, okay, Cygnus. Um, Breathing, fire resistance, or levitation. Are we all getting healing potions, or yes, so there are six, six of those. those. We'll, we'll spread those oh, around. Okay. Um. Yeah, I guess the gaseous. Uh, I think Darius took that one. Mm -hmm. Oh, you only had one of those. Yep. Mm -hmm. Underwater uh, breathing, fire resistance, levitation. <laughs> I'll do uh, 
underwater breathing. Fire mm-hmm. resistance for Quinn? Oh, wait up. Oh, yeah. Fire resistance would have been good. Can anybody take levitation? Mm-hmm. I'll take levitation. Sickness, take fire yeah. resistance. Yeah, I'll do fire resistance instead of the... And I'll take levitation. I took levitation. I'm sorry, underwater. Water, water breathing. That's what I meant. When I said it, I knew what I meant. You're drunk. And who needs an extra potion? We have six of the healing potions. That would leave two extras. I would <laughs> take one. Yeah, to give them to the NPCs. Oh. What? Well, Fuck Cornella's them. gonna need one. So, all of us plus Cornella. And then one what? more. And then we have one left. I will do this expedition. Who's that? I would say I would Tarnak. say either Mark I would either say Mark or Darius. Whoever has the lower AC, because they'll get if they get hit. I have eighteen. Like, like basically whoever's most likely gonna get hit. I have healing spells. Oh. So it'd be easier if someone else had it to bring me up if I could. I'll hold hit. two of them. That'll there you get. Go. I usually end up using it. So I'll get one. Okay, and I got the potion of gaseous form. I'm adding it to my sheet. Underwater breathing. And, I am two. and everybody can roll a d20. High roll gets something else. Ooh, come on, baby. 17. Seven. Damn it. I mean, 20. Hey, for once I rolled well. <laughs> Eight for when? Darius? Out of four. Mark, you get a pendant. Interesting. Might give it to Darius at some point to do a detect magic on it. She'll tell you what it is. Oh, okay. it, will, it will absorb 20 points of missile damage. That can be normal missile damage, magic missile damage, even trebuchet damage. Wow. But after 20 hit points, it cracks and is useless. Okay. So basically any uh, missile ranged attack. attack on me? Yep. Even an arrow Hi. or just missile style? Yep. Air, arrow's fine. Oh. Breath weapon, no. Okay. So ranged weapon. Mm-hmm. Hey, since Quinn's not here, can we ask about having a couple of uh, lovely ladies to take with us on our voyage? <laughs> wow. Maybe some of the soldiers will be women who... Yeah, you're missing something. D12 <laughs> against me, Cygnus. Five. Six. <sighs> Odd soldiers, even followers. Ah, oh, shit. I just threw my dice off. <laughs> I threw one away earlier, too. I gotta get it when we're done. Four. Even it's going to be followers. Nice. Who wants a follower? <clears throat> Sounds like uh, what do you call it? Commitment or something. I don't need a follower. So just Cygnus? Probably. And he might take all four. Yeah, you could have them all. Hell. He disappeared. <laughs> he, he, he's, he's still there. His camera's off. Trying to oh. find his die. Oh. Oh. Uh, that's fucking stupid. There you go. <laughs> no, that that is fucking stupid right Ooh. there. Uh, I, I had stop video when I was like bending over. <laughs> Do you that's want probably so I, think, thing. I think Zoom figured out what was going on and turned it off. <laughs> it's like, oh, this is a PG show. <laughs> so uh, crack. Do, do, do you do you want the four followers, Cygnus, or just one? Yes, four. Nice. The best thing AI no the ever did shut off Cygnus's camera. <laughs> he heard he was getting followers and had to shut it off so it wouldn't get banned from YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I have four D20s. They're charisma. Boy. Now I did say pretty. 
Yeah, pretty men. Subject- That's subjective. Pretty is subjective, dude. That's true, considering I had one of five. It could be a man. <laughs> no, I said ladies. Oh. Dang. Uh oh. It's either good <laughs> or bad. <laughs> The Harmony Quartet Sisters. <laughs> Arrive and each wear veils. Their husbands uh, have fallen in battle. Oh. Uh, and, and they are here uh, to ease the suffering and thank the greatest savior of the city. That would be Cygnus. What about me? Savior. You didn't want to follow her. I don't think you asked. She was away. I was. Did you a, want... I kept asking, and you wouldn't tell me what a follower was. Okay. Did you want to follow her? Yes. How, how <laughs> many? One. Just one. That's okay. a lot of wait, responsibility. Wait, wait. wait They're not going to take away from my followers, right? Yes, they are. There's only four followers. So here it is. I have four dice in front of me for charisma. Quinn, roll a D4, and that will be your follower. Two. Did you want a male follower, I assume? They're all ladies. I don't care. That's what we... Okay. Oh, yeah. Sweet. <laughs> <Wait. laughs> Quinn, your. Your follower, uh, fuck, I don't know what to call him. <laughs> Let's go, Abigail, Brenda, Ugh. Shamel, Shamel, <laughs> and Darlene. She's from the south. <laughs> <laughs> and Darlene, uh, you chose number. Or Jolene, Jolene, Jolene. Jolene. I'll take Jolene. Jolene. Well, you you got number two, okay. and that is Brenda. Her charisma is seventeen. Oh, I'm good with that. The other three each peel off. <laughs> ah. oh, I'm gonna hate this. This is just so wrong. Uh, they each take off their veils. Uh, Cygnus, Abigail, nineteen. Shamel, 17. <laughs> Jolene. Oh, that's got to be Darling because it's ABCD. 14. So 19, darling. 17, and 14. He's not going to get anything done. Oh, my darling. Oh, my darling. <laughs> it, it's Cygnus. I, I didn't have high hopes for him getting shit done anyway. <laughs> Again, the queen says, so what is your plan? Well, I'm going to take them back into the ship. <laughs> oh, you mean? It's easy. It's easy. They're suffering. <laughs> easy. They're suffering. Sir Ed. <laughs> Cygnus is going to be known as Sir Ed. <laughs> I asked Cornella to help me with my follower. Sure. Now, Cygnus is not going to get anything done at exactly. all. Exactly. <laughs> Yeah, that's going to be really tough. I mean, uh, should I please the three or just watch? You you know, I'm going to make you roll performances. (laughs) Uh, What was the line from Red? What is the... What's the timeline for acquisition and target rendition? rendition? What's the plan for target acquisition and rendition? The queen is kind of concerned at the tomfoolery going on uh, <laughs> given the gifts she's going to expect some results uh, and not just from Tar Golmec uh, uh, he points out that he will take the brave heroes wherever they need to go well the name of that place? Mark you need to tell her what the plan is but Mer- Faramus Faramus is where you believe her to be he's our mouthpiece yeah, I, uh, our plans eventually are to go to Faramis. It's where we believe uh, Muru is. That's not far away. It's not. Um, however, with this recent attack, I think we should uh, 
we also had ideas and I think now we should go visit was it locks that was just yeah. out. Mm-hmm. Go see yeah. locks, make sure everything's fine there, and then go across to Aramis. How many people do you want? Uh, as many as you can give. Um we don't know what we're going to meet along the way while we're there. I mean, or while we're in Faramus. More, more followers. She has twenty eight guards. Well, we have two ships, right? Well, she, she can she can spare nine. I was gonna say she can't leave herself unprotected. Right. Whatever you can give us, I don't want to. Each of you roll a d six. Five. Four. 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 Sixteen civilians. Oh, we're taking some. What are they, Christmas? Nice. Oh, Shut geez. up. <laughs> we're not going to have time for you to fuck all the time. Uh, uh, there's not. not I want 16 rolls. <laughs> you know what? If I get a one on any of them, they're your new best friend and they're constantly going to hit on me. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> Those are not Ooh. good rolls. Ooh. I'm going to make Darlene beat him off. Literally. <laughs> With a broom. You're going to need someone to hold him back. There it is. Oh, there it is. You have two best friends, Cygnus. <laughs> oh, like the one that he started out with? The male yes. that couldn't let him go? That died one tragically. Eye yes. One eye Willie? No, what was it? One eye. One eye love. One eye uh, love. That's it. That's right, Eileen. The one I love. Uh, actually, wait, no, no, no. She's Japanese. Uh, it was Irene. That's I, that's right. Uh, you get two guys, and they're both like Simple Jack from Tropic Thunder. <laughs> head movies? You star in my head movies. I see you in the head movies. <laughs> <laughs> they are going to hang around you, Sir Cygnus, like polio. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. The ships are dangerous. <laughs> they are the brothers cock blocker. <laughs> <laughs> talk blocker bros uh there you go so uh to locks you're headed yeah if everyone else wants to do that i think we should make sure everything's fine there and maybe even find some more help it's kind of on the way might as well you do know that is the home of the red diamond pirates do you not Ugh. oh did we that know that be a problem Knowing we that, know that. Well, we, we that. killed a lot of them. Yeah, we can kill them all, though. But we, we have their boats. Off. Or, sorry, ships. Yeah, but... Yeah, they might think we're part of the Red, the red Diamonds. Yeah, they might. We could fool yeah. them. Or they might we could take We could take the heads of their leaders and said, we're the new, we're the new leaders. Give them back. He feet. tells me... <laughs> So, did you want to go to Lox or Tripoli? What do we know about Tripoli? Oh, yeah. We went uh, to Lox tri- already once, right? Tri- yes, you've been to Lox. Tripoli is the headquarters of the Red Diamond Pirates. Oh, hmm. crap. Maybe we just head to Fairmouth. <laughs> yeah, Maybe that. we, we should to go, go to the headquarters. Now, keep in mind, uh, Lox entrance is off the Hiberian Strait. Oh. So, oh. No, 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 we don't want to do that. I think we should go to Tripoli. I think we should go to Faramus. No. What do you think we do in Tripoli? I think we should go to Tripoli and talk to the leaders. And, okay, yes. Get the part, get the red diamonds on our side. Well, yeah, I mean, we took out your people. It was unfortunate. You can give them four hookers that you guys picked up. Exactly. Um, And just tell them, look. You know, we have to fight this person, so we need to band together now. Once that's done, we can all settle up and go on our separate ways. And tell them about 
Because if they got flooded, then Muru did that to them. So. Exactly, because obviously something happened to their island. How about we head there and see how it looks? Yeah, we could do that. But we don't, want, a... we don't want to go through the strait, though. No. I'm not against trying to parlay with them and get more help. I just worry we'll get our asses kicked. And We're level 8, goddammit. Or, or 12 or 12, 14. 22. You know, hard, hard to tell what level you guys are anymore. We could leave level 9 if we go there. Uh, yeah. That is possible. <laughs> we just killed the whole island of red diamonds. So. Oh, we do have two of their prisoners, or two of their pirates as prisoners. Yeah, uh, Jim and Tiber. Yeah, the mm -hmm. retarded ones. No, that's Cygnus's new lover boys. <laughs> so we could. They're gonna start a boy parlay. band. But you want to go. But you don't want to go to Locks. You want to go to Tripoli, and you don't want to cut through the Hiberian Straits. That's my thought, but putting this close to Wait, what does everybody why else don't, think? Why do we not want to go through the Straits? Every time we've gone through a strait, we have been attacked by another ship and lost a ship. Yeah, yeah, that's true. But if we go on the not straight side, we'll land, we'll go closer uh, to Theramis. We just don't want to go straight. We want to not go straight. Although, so wait, okay. it looks like Lox, though, is in the middle, right? Right, so if we go from, you know, where we're Blackie. at, right, and then we go past locks and there's Go that east. little thing there yeah and as we're going by we can say huh does it look like a trash pit now keep or in not. mind locks actually sits more on this coast right it, it looks we like it sits here it, it does there. not correct and so we'd have to go through the strait to see locks correct we do yes how many uh, hours would it take to uh, fly between there. The Hiberian Straits to Locks, or where <clears throat> no, it says Locks like, like, down. Yeah, if, yeah, from Locks to where where it says Locks to where Locks is. Darius, roll a D eight for me, please. Let's see here. Seven. It it would take seven hours. And the broom only work. The broom only light works one hour. Yeah. 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 All right. Well, never mind. Well, in theory, Lox is probably okay because it's on the other side. I would think. So Lox is within the straight. Yes, Lox. Uh, Even you though get past the small island. Yeah, Lox is probably okay. Yeah, Lox is where the hand is. Well, so let's why do say, you have it on the other? Locks. Why do you have it listed on the other side? Because I made this map over a year ago. Ah. Map makers aren't perfect, Quinn. And it moved. They make small they mistakes. Should be. The city has little little legs. <laughs> it just crawls like around. The Baba Yaga's Baba Yaga city. city. Yeah. yeah. Let's go to Faramus instead. That sounds like a better plan. And you know what, though? Hey, hey, so if we go across on the other side, where Lox is on that side, we should be able to at least see if there's any, like, debris or anything up on the coast of it. Uh, it has high cliffs, but yes, you would be able to see if there was damage. So that mm. would tell us if it came from that side. So Darius, you think we just go straight to Fairmans, don't worry about the red diamonds. I mean I just feel like if the more we delay this out, she's gonna have more defenses set up. But are That's we gonna true. be able to sway any more people to our side? Do we need yeah. more though? Red diamonds I, would I, be I, really difficult. We're I level think. eight, for God's sake. <laughs> In in the previous engagement, it took the forces of four kings to destroy Faramus. And the it other took thing, every single stone. The other part, too, is, is we can use the pirates as a distraction. 
like if we have them go after the uh, constructs, we could maybe go in on the other side. We mm. promised the pirates the other boat ship, whatever it's called. The oyster and the dolphin. Well, <laughs> tarmac gets one. Gets You're one. saying we offer the red diamonds the other ship. Yes. Yeah, but they might think it's theirs already. Can't do that because we already promised it to. We boat. promised him one. We promised him one. We have two. I thought we said he could have them both at the end. No, I said his choice at the end. Instead of get both, he gets to choose which one. And he does have his uh, SS Minnow racked up in the uh, Bay of Seca. Right? Wait. He's got his cool queen mistress cooling her heels. I think this might be one of the few times where we can become allies with our enemies under a situation of we have shared enemy at this you point. Know, the bad. enemy of my enemy is my friend. How mm -hmm. bad are pirates, really? I mean, we've they're ter they're terrible. many of them. Like, we're not? We're not. We're heroes. There's a big difference there. <laughs> you guys are privateers. It's all, it's all about how it's written in the <laughs> exactly. history book. You guys are twirl my twirl privateers. My, they twirl my uh, dual cutlasses. <laughs> we are heroes! Where'd you get those? <laughs> yeah, what's up with the cool new armbands, Prick? Hey, know, Gandalf. Are these, cool? <laughs> are these nice? Cool. Yeah, where'd you get those? Oh, I found them. You, do you really need two of them? Uh, well, I, I could give you one of the cutlasses. I mean, Or Doc Holiday and Tombstone. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> I mean, how, much are, how many silver pieces are these worth? <laughs> I'll sell it to you for half. <laughs> you know what? Keep it. You don't punch well anyway. Now you slash oh, twice. Oh, oh. Facial the floor. <laughs> Sigma Stein. Uh, they, they've seen you pee. They know you can't hit it. <laughs> <laughs> That's because I don't want to hit it. I like to leave a mark. <laughs> Let's go, I guess. That's right, boss. You leave a mark. <laughs> Cornella, how are you feeling today? That's a good question. Oh, you got a, feeling groovy. Yeah, Brenda's a 17. She's with me. Yeah. She He asked about Cornella. Oh, Cornella. Uh, <clears throat> well, um, uh, I agree with both of you. Uh, the longer we wait, the more she can fortify her forces and defenses, and that could prove to be problematic. However, if we get more people, we can use them as cannon fodder and uh, thereby eliminate the additional defenses. Uh, sneaking into a fractured island, I'm not sure if we can do that or not. Um, so uh, I am willing to uh, defer to the wisdom of this group. I asked Cornella, I'm like, you seem like you've been keeping secrets. What is your opinion? I, I really could not say. Both are, are valid uh, points. Uh, it's hard to say. I, I think that if the Red Diamonds were hit by Muru's wave, they would be persuaded more easily to go against her. Um, but we don't know if they were hit by the wave oh. or if, if Palaki was the intended target. Well, here's a thought. We go to Tripoli. I take the Earth Stone. I remove Earth so that they're hit by a wave and then say that that was Miru's doing. If it uh, hadn't been already hit. Do we know if these stones have limited use or if constant use lowers their e efficiency? Effect What's Effectiveness? That? Effectiveness will work. E efficacy. Efficacy is the word I was looking mm. for. <clears throat> Plot my dictionary. 
Well, you do know that it's been the water stone's been used at least twice. And the earth stone's been used twice. I just worry by using it if we need it for the final fight. Was used whenever people bought tires. Good one. And I'm about to use that time stone once we get on the, the seas. <laughs> <laughs> you you better make your wisdom save is all I'm saying. <laughs> Otherwise you guys are gonna turn around and see a adolescent Cygnus. <laughs> as long as we don't see him in the his bedroom. Well that, that would explain something, so all right. <laughs> Holy shit, it's a kid. <laughs> Cygnus, what do you think? Tripoli or fair? I think I'm thinking Tripoli. I think Tripoli. I'm thinking that would be get us some more cannon fodder. Tripoli, and if they die, then it's less pirates that we have to deal with later. Darius. True. I'm Kyle Tri Tripoli's okay, I guess. Tripoli. Quinn. I am for Tripoli, but I don't think Darius wants to go there. Fine with that. Darius is ready to move on to the next. Uh, <laughs> I just want to go kill. Thieves somebody. adventure. <laughs> He's wanna, done with jocularity. Two want to kill Muru and take care of all this. I just <laughs> want to make sure we're as fortified as she is. Hey, I've only written twenty six pages for that fucking thieves campaign. So you guys gonna have to give me more weeks. <laughs> <laughs> We'll just go and sail I, the ocean. I want, to mark I, mean, I want to mark Goo. I want to mark Goo Jocularity. Well, Scott sent me his <laughs> character, and you guys are going to have your hands full. Oh, wonderful. Yeah, and I'm making his notebook. So, um, and, and again, Cornell and I literally have no opinion on what you want to do. Uh, both are solid answers. Uh, both have their pros and cons. Uh, I, I'm not going to point you in a direction because one does not exist. You know, as the wisest one of our party and the moral compass, you tell I would them, say, boss. <laughs> that's right. That's right, guy. 60, 20 people. You tell them. I have a need to go to Tripoli. <laughs> I always want to talk about India because she has a song about that. Next thing we know, Cygnus is going to bring up that he thinks. Uh, his people with him should have votes as well. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, that's a good one. I didn't even think about that, man. Oh, wait, maybe, wait. Jeff maybe, is from uh, Texas. He just full votes, full voting. votes. They don't get <laughs> fractional votes with. with we're not going there, see. They're, they're like senators <laughs> from South Dakota. Three fifths. <laughs> they count as three fifths of a person. <laughs> no. Wow! Wow! <laughs> That's a no. That's no. a wrong campaign. <laughs> this is, this is, this is, this is <laughs> Greek campaign. Uh, there's no. <laughs> Jesus. Jesus. Uh, Man, you know those damn Greeks were having a bunch of slaves too, you know? They were also having sex with children. That Everybody is... had slaves. Let's put it that oh, way. God. Oh, well, that makes it okay. No, uh, I'm not saying it makes Remember it okay. to send that hate mail to... And right. Hobo Week and they had Dada. slaves in the Bible. <laughs> they <laughs> did. Historically accurate. Uh, <laughs> they sold their daughters. Yes, the historically accurate uh, popularity campaign <laughs> with high <laughs> magic. <laughs> Boys and girls, after the thieves campaign, we're going to go biblical campaign. <laughs> Ooh, nice. Ooh. Bad idea. Ooh. New oh, God, that would be awesome. Oh, boy. <laughs> we're going to rain down some fire. That's Old Testament. We got to do New Testament. You guys are going to seek one. out Jesus. Everybody no. gets a. I want to be a horseman of the apocalypse. Yes. Which one? Oh, yeah. We got Revelation. Death. There's some fire throwing down there, too. True. Revelation. Do you ride a pale horse? I hate this. <laughs> uh, okay. So, <laughs> Tripoli is what I'm hearing. I think Tripoli is the. Not through the straits, but around the outside. Yes. I mean, I we can so. go through the straits if y'all want to do it. I just don't think we should stop at 
locks. That takes us by locks, and if they see us or if they have patrols out, yeah. they'll we'll get stuck with them. Yeah, that's true. And but you will also be for... close to Faramus on the that's Cape. True. Mm -hmm. so, so we'll be able to. We'll hug the coast. Reconnoiter. Watch it. We'll watch carefully from Faramus. Make sure if anything comes to, uh, from that direction, we can. Uh, it would have taken you two days to get to Lox. It will take you five days to get to Tripoli. Ooh. Okay. Can we just skip ahead? That yeah, this, 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 you know how Frank is. This, this is not Margu. I'm not going to put out the shiny, shiny shit here. Uh, as, as you reach the mainland of Lox, and uh, I'll throw this up. Sorry again, folks at home, that you can't see it. Uh, you guys will come out of the Bay of Seca and come down this way. Uh, this area here, it, and let's uh, roll. Partly cloudy. Overcast. So rain. Not yet, it's not. So this area right here, nothing. It's high cliffs. There's the rain on day three. But do we see, like, uh, on the cliffs, though? Can we tell, like, if there's a, the water level had gone up any? or Investigation by everybody. <clears throat> Nineteen. Uh, three. Roll I mean six. Really roll a shitty tonight. Excuse me. When? Um thirteen. Uh Mark, yes, the water has risen along the cliffs. Uh on day three you get your rain. On day four you get clear. Here the cliffs are not nearly as um high so you can tell that yes the water did rise here on day five uh, as you have rounded the horn here there has been no shipping traffic at all no boats no patrol boats no nothing as you come into Tripoli it is solid rain I'm going to take investigation rolls at disadvantage. Oh, sure. I roll a 19, <clears throat> and then you say yeah. disadvantage. 18. 14 is my low. 14, 10. Now I'm going to go ahead and do inspiring leader on everyone again, and now it's 13 temporary hit points since we leveled up. 14. Quinn? Uh, <clears throat> and how many ships did you guys take? 14. Did you did you both did you take both the oyster and the dolphin? Yes. So you are taking two red diamond ships into AAA. <laughs> right? Isn't that what we did? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. That's fine. That's fine by me. Uh, Fourteen is not going to be big enough. Uh, However, uh, there's a lot of wreckage on the shoreline here. And as you come closer and closer to the docks, you realize there's a lot of damage. I was going to ask if we saw damage in the docks. Um, there's an extensive amount of damage. There are ships sunk in the harbor. Do we see anybody on the shore? Oh, yeah. Yeah, they're trudging to trudge. Uh, I they call are... out and I ask what happened. Uh, do you guys want to come close enough? They can't hear me from I... where we are. I think this might be to our advantage if we come in and offer to help. And they yeah, obviously I, have had damage. Works. I think we. I agree. And we're we're under their sails, so. <laughs> we should uh, help. Are are you guys on the ship piloted by Tar Golmec? We're in the lead ship. 
I have no idea. Do you want Tar Golmek with you or not? I would have him on the other ship with the mm. other people. Ooh, I don't know. Or do we need he, Tar Golmek knows the Red Diamonds, right? Yeah, he's a pirate. Tar Golmek yeah. knows everything. I can negotiate for us. I think he might be able to help us. Yeah, negotiate. Yeah. So yeah. So he you want to be on Tar Golmek's ship, yeah. <laughs> whichever one that is. Yes. Yeah. Fair enough. Uh, he says, "Are we going in?" Yes. Let's go in. There is a lot of wreckage. A lot of ships are tipped over. A lot of ships have sustained significant damage. Some ships are sunk all the way to the top of the masts. This this once teeming port city uh, appears to have really taken the hit as bad as Kios did. Uh, as you get close enough to shore, a bell rings out from a half damaged tower uh the bell signifies incoming ships uh since you are sailing uh since your sails are marked with red diamonds uh there does not appear to be any patrol boats whatsoever you do see a rowboat with a rather robust fat dude uh coming towards you um but it is certainly no war vessel. It's a rowboat. <laughs> By himself? Go talk to him. Uh, it's him and two young boys rowing him out. That's so sad. Because they count as three-fifths of a person, apparently, in right. Cygnus's <laughs> world. Wait, uh, they're black? No. Oh. I don't know. I, I have no Man, idea. That was pretty anybody. racist. Yeah. Wow. Like, any, anybody could be a slave. Jeez. They're Asian. <laughs> they're Irish. <laughs> That are Irish. Fuck the uh, Irish. Who wants They're to, Indian. Who wants oh, to roll go. for Targol <laughs> uh, <laughs> to see if he recognizes this dude? What are we rolling? D20. Oh, that's D20. 16. <laughs> Jesus. It's Master Simmons. Wow. Uh, you've had relations with him, have you? Well, uh, not him, but <laughs> <laughs> his wife, his wife. <laughs> daughter, <laughs> daughter. I'll go with daughter. Both daughters, Helga, <laughs> at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> is he Cygnus's long lost brother? Helga is the daughter. Uh, yes, we know each other. Uh, Master Simmons, ahoy, ahoy! Welcome back to Tripoli, and he sees Tar Golmec. And his reaction is a natural one. (laughs) (laughs) And we will end it there because that is fucking funny as shit. It is not. Uh, Yeah, it is. Uh, Jeff, a case We still got two minutes. Exactly. (laughs) Two minutes. What happens in the two minutes? I've had well, in the two minutes, you guys. A say, lot could happen in two minutes. Cygnus will just tell you. <laughs> <laughs> you could be completely done in two minutes. That's exactly. right, boss. You can lie, you can do a lot of things, boss. <laughs> I'll hold her for you, boss. And, and you know what? Uh, you know what, Cygnus? D twelve against me. Uh oh. Oh my gosh. You yeah. recognize him too. Yeah. <laughs> keep, keep, keep running your mouth. Damn. Seven. Okay. Uh, your females were on the ship with you. Oh, if I, oh, if I would have won, they would have been on the other <laughs> ship. <clears throat> so, uh, Jeff, what would you think? I liked. Although I was really expecting some more fighting. Uh, fighting pirates. I, I like had considered that, but you guys took out 22? Too many. We were too yeah, successful. Y- you guys took we're out... Too good? Uh, yeah, 22 dead. Uh, so, yeah, you you took out a lot. I had to leave some for Tar Golmec. Uh, so I I really didn't think there'd be a lot of combat in this episode, and I was right. So, but but I liked it, uh, and I got me a I got me a posse. Great abuse of a what? Charm person save the day. A posse. What? Don't a posse. No. And, and you've been knighted. <laughs> Behave, Sir Cygnus. <laughs> I am Sir Sir Cygnus of Scrooge. Sir Cygnus <laughs> of Scrooge. And my posse. 
<laughs> Andrew, what'd you think? See, it's already 10 o'clock, well. jackass. <laughs> <laughs> uh, a lot of fun as well. Very good. John, what'd you think? It was fun. I like going swimming. That was great. <laughs> <laughs> the dice giveth, the dice taketh away. Still got I figured though. you were going to send some kind of sea monster at, at me or something. I figured he'd make the broom break. Oh, that would have been a good thought. That would have been bad. <laughs> and Carrie. Don't stop giving him ideas! <laughs> <laughs> Too late now. That's right. He, Carrie, he's got to fuck us. I'm not sure. He writes shit down, for God's sake. <laughs> <laughs> I enjoyed it. Um, yeah, you did. Don't make me come to Texas and stab you. <laughs> <laughs> that shit's uh, legal in Texas, <laughs> right? I believe so. I enjoyed it, and I'll leave that be for now. There you go. Oh, <laughs> interesting. That's right. You can open carry knives and guns in Texas. <laughs> you know what? She, she'll she'll go to Texas and just be a spitfire and declare you are a legal abortion. <laughs> <laughs> And kill you that way, and then try and get out. Uh, okay. Boy, boys and girls, enough politics of uh, the southern uh, region. Uh, we hope you enjoyed yourselves. Thanks for uh, watching. We appreciate it. Don't forget to follow us on the socials, including Blue Sky at M Hobo Inc. You can email us M Hobo Inc. at Gmail if you ever want to be on the show. I think we're going to do a one shot this weekend because uh, the Calamity A guys cannot make it. Uh, you can buy our stuff, but I'd I'd wait. Till it's on sale. I mean, uh, that's the honest to God's truth. We've got a lot of great stuff, a lot of cool stuff. Uh, of course, if you need new cool math rocks, uh, go on over to Twitter at Pirate Dog Dice, hit them up, see what they got. Uh, you're experimenting with the color strawberry, are you not? Uh, hot pink. Know, hot pink. I don't know where they went. Uh, so check them out. Of course, if your game stinks like uh, Darius's butt after dropping into the bay, uh, get yourself some adventure sense. I think it's Cracko Ass is uh, one of the scents wow. coming up. Ass, uh, ass cracking. That's right. Beware ass of the crack ass cracking. Crack crack <laughs> Hold on. I have to write that down. Uh, <laughs> uh, Oddfishgames.com also makes out RPG with your cat, how to cook with your dice, the shine system that John has, uh, and the Radiance Project. Uh, if you don't have anybody to play with, you can always play solo. I already said play that. with your cat. How to RPG with your cat. Uh, and don't forget, uh, February 10th, uh, just over a month, not by much. Uh, Murder HoboCon four tabletop dot events. It's on page three. Sign up. John's running some shit. I'm running. Well, I'm running some shit. But the only thing you can sign up for is Iron DM. <laughs> We've got Cthulhu DCC, uh, Cyberpunk, uh, D and D. Uh, yeah, I'm running a game as well. Well, what is it? another day in paradise oh that's right yeah i saw that so you got shit games <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> but it's, it's only three-fifths shit that's right. <laughs> <laughs> let, let me ask are there gonna be slaves involved hello it's you're paradise. in paradise <laughs> <laughs> from the socio project that's right. okay. you, know, you know what I, but, but i'll give you this frank I don't think there'll be any E train eaten this time. Uh huh. You're going to go after my other ones, aren't you? <laughs> mm, the little <laughs> hobbits. <laughs> the pack eater creatures. The pack eater. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. You know, I, uh, for Adventures in Philbar, I did out my what I'm going to offer every Friday. I can't even touch Socio Project yet. I got too much of the shit that's going out tomorrow. I wrote in 2019. Oh my gosh. <laughs> like, God damn it. I need to stop writing. Anyway, uh, I'm a Nazi writer. That's what it is. Boys and girls, uh, Jeff's got a game. John's got a game. Um, Jason has a game. Uh, I don't Andrew's have a game. game. I have to DM. Gary has a game. Oh, you got game. He's got that's game. what oh, I was. I got game. got game. 
I like that. Uh, yeah, Jason from uh, Copious Full Bitters fame is uh, running something. Uh, Eddie's got one. Eddie's going to be in uh, the Iron DM in the beginning, and then I think at noon he's going to run something. Whatever he uh, decided from that. Yeah, whatever he decided. So that should be really cool. Uh, a lot of stuff. Uh, so go out there, take a look, sign up. You pay to get in, and then you sign up for all the games, and it's all going to charity. And what's the name of the charity again? Sigmas. It's about uh, epilepsy. So we're a charity event. We don't keep the money. We don't need it. Uh, don't care. Uh, now I'm rambling. Boys and girls, thanks for joining <laughs> us. Uh, Saturday, probably a one-shot. Sunday, probably Margoo, although uh, we're going to be like the rest of the country uh, under snow and freezing to death. So great. I love that. And the Steelers play. That's it. Uh, blow them a kiss and wave. Let's get the hell out of here, boys. Mm-hmm. and carry we're fun and well as educational constitutional amendment for three fifths <laughs> of human beings that's yeah adventures and fills so, up for all your role playing sorry needs, there wasn't more combat try the free I, stuff I, first. I just wasn't certain that that would work I'm glad there wasn't more comments than ones that I was wrong. Right? Yeah. And of course, I it was the night I rolled well. <laughs>